How's it going guys? My name is John Kasich and today I wanted to go through my political prediction for the 2016 presidential election. Before I start, I want to make it clear that I am an independent and I'm not voting for either Clinton or Trump. I hope to have a very objective opinion using only the polls and the facts. Also, if you hear me coughing at any time or you hear my voice being hoarse, um, I may have contracted some of Clinton's pneumonia. so. Please forgive me, I've been kind of sick lately. I feel a little bit lightheaded, so I'll try and do the best that I can. Anyway, I don't want to waste your time, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the states that are safe for Trump, and that's obviously Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, the Dakotas, Nebraska, where I live, and Omaha, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana. You get the point. You can read the rest of these. Of course, Alaska, and I would even say that Arizona, yes, is a safe red state at this point. And West Virginia, I think that should be it. Also, Iowa is now a safe red state if you look at your polls. And now I'm going to go through all the safe Clinton states, which are, of course, Washington, the whole West Coast nearly, those commies in Hawaii. Uh, Colorado right now is looking to be a very safe blue state, so I'll go ahead and mark it as such. Oops. You may be asking me why I have these three up here, and of course Pennsylvania, as safe blue states. I'll get into that here in a few minutes, but before I do that, I want to talk about, oh, sorry, got Virginia. I want to talk about Florida and North Carolina. Now, these are obviously very uh, close states. If you look at the polls, they're almost dead even. Um, some have Clinton up, some have Trump up. Well, in my opinion, the Hurricane Matthew, which will be touching on Florida any minute now, in fact, um, was made by Putin at the request of Trump to kill off East Coast Democrats. So I think his mission and his plan will be successful, which will make Florida, North Carolina, and yes, even Virginia, a safe red state. Now, if you look up here, Without a doubt, Trump is going to win, just based on that alone. With the hurricane coming, it's going to wipe out Miami. Uh, my home hometown of North Carolina, Wilmington, North Carolina, right here is going to get wiped out. All those fucking commies are going to be dead. So they're all going to vote for Trump. Trump's going to win. Now, with that being said, I don't think the last or the final vote will be 260 to 272. I think Trump will win nearly every single state, and I'll show you why. So these three states are safe Trump, no doubt about that. Um, now, people always ask, you know, or they always say Minnesota and Wisconsin and Michigan, they could very well be flipping red. And I believe they will, without a doubt. All three will be flipping red, and I'll tell you why. If you look closely here at the outline of Minnesota, you can see the hair. You can see the very... I wouldn't say smug, but strong and respectable face. I say it looks just like Donald Trump. Of course, you learn maybe in fifth grade geography class that there's, you know, an outline of a man here. Um, but I would beg to say that the man is Donald Trump, and this is his wall, not dividing America, but bringing America together. He is the glue of the Midwest and thus the whole nation. So with that being said, Trump will definitely take Minnesota, bring him to 282. Now, if you look at the border here between Minnesota and Wisconsin, you can obviously see the face of Minnesota. But if you look on the right side, you can see a face of Wisconsin as well. Well, I think that is the face of, uh, what's his name, Scott Walker, the governor that ran, was in the primaries and dropped out before he said he was going to run. He dropped out on day zero. But he's got, you know, kind of an upset face. He doesn't really like Trump that much. But in the end, he knows that Trump is going to win and he's going to win Wisconsin based on, if nothing else, the outline of Scott Walker's face. Um, and then we go to Michigan. Well, you say, well, where's the face? Well, there is no face. But as you know, Michigan is surrounded by lakes. You have Lake Titicaca and the River Sticks here. Um, it's a very windy state indeed. 
And I would say that the upper part of Michigan here, which is known for its serial killers, is a piece of Donald Trump's hair blowing in the wind from Lake Titicaca. And that would beg the question, well, what is the oven mitt for? Well, that is the hand of the Michigan supporters that will say, I will support you, Trump. I will help you here in our state. And do I need to say anything else? Michigan's going for Trump. So if you follow Alex Jones, he's a very smart man. He never lies. You would know that Bernie Sanders, the next czar of the Soviet Union, will be, will be getting his rebate for selling his soul to the devil here and maybe today is the 6th of October. It's planned for 20 October. So and two weeks from now, Bernie Sanders will be getting a rebate from the devil for selling his soul to the devil. And it is believed that Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders will use that to create a communist uprising in all the hubs that voted for him back in the primaries. So, of course, Trump will fight this down. He will go to Vermont. He will defeat Bernie Sanders. But as you know, the socialists and the communists that support Bernie Sanders rarely have an IQ above six. And of course, you know, socialism and communism are associated with the color red. So come election day and almost a month from now, they will be voting for their favorite color, which is red, which, believe it or not, will lead to most of the remaining Clinton states turning red. So that will make New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, uh, Maine, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut, the new 19th Socialist Republic in the USSR. Um, that will bring Pennsylvania to Trump's side, as well as Maryland and Delaware. Not New Jersey, though. We'll get back to that. Illinois, the entire West Coast, at least the coast part of Washington and Oregon, are filled with some dirty-ass hippies, dirty-ass commies. There's tons of communes and you know, nudist colonies along the coast, and they're going to vote Trump. They like the color red. They're going to vote for red. And of course, California is no different. No different. You have uh, new New Mexico here in Southern California, where the dirty Mexicans are. Uh, day one, as Trump has said, they're going back. So, you know, they're going to vote blue, no doubt. But the hippies, the commies, the dirty liberals, the socialists, the Bernie supporters, they're going to be walling out and they're going to vote red. Um, so, yeah, and also Hawaii will be in that same same basket there and New Mexico. So we have three more states. Trump is already at 506. Obviously, he is domineering Clinton at this point, as he should. You know, with a strategy like his, I don't see how you can lose. And he will at least get 506. But there are still three states here. And I'll go through those real quick. Uh, Nevada, as you know, is polling very close for both Clinton and Trump. Um, with all the things that are going to be happening in the next few weeks. Especially the whole Bernie Sanders thing. I think it's safe to say that they will go for Trump. Um, and then we have Colorado. I'll save that for last. And then New Jersey. As you may know, New Jersey has the governor, Chris Christie, who is now, um, he'll be the first pet of the White House whenever Donald Trump moves in. Now, Christie, whenever he was um, in the primaries, he was, what's the word, campaigning in my city of Omaha here at the local Golden Corral. And someone brought up the whole bridge gate that you may remember happened in 2013, where he, long story short, prevented commuters from using toll gates, causing a big ruckus. I don't know that much about it. You can look it up yourself. However, it is planned that Christie will be doing the same thing on election day. He'll be closing toll gates, you know, disrupting infrastructure and creating as much traffic as possible. I even heard that he's going to get in the middle of the road and him being a very big man, he'll probably block four lanes. He's going to block all the Democrats in his states in the state and other guidos from getting to the polls. And I, I think it's obvious that if this plan plays out, 
New Jersey would be going for for Trump. So of course that leaves. Oh, I'm sorry. DC Trump will be taking DC. You know, there's tons of black people there. The cops are killing them. You know, at an astounding rate every day. By the time that November 8th comes around in 32 days, there'll be no more blacks in DC. That's a direct order from Trump. So all the whites. Um, and the socialists there will be voting for Trump. So D.C. will also go to Trump. Now, Colorado, I, I feel confident that Colorado will be the only state that votes for Clinton. <coughs> um, sorry, I got the pneumonia. Um, as you know, Colorado was the first state to legalize the devil's lettuce back in 2012. And all the dirty hippies and the weed addicts and the, the drug lords and, you know, the communists moved to Colorado. And unlike the crazy Bernie supporters up in these naked colonies up here, the Coloradans actually love Clinton. Um, as you know, Colorado is a very cold state, which allows it. In fact, I don't know if you know this, but it has the highest rate of pneumonia in the U.S. And obviously about a month ago, you know, three weeks ago, Clinton was pandering her best to all the uh, to the pneumonia vote. So I think that Colorado will be the only blue state uh, no, on November 8th. And um, hopefully Trump, you know, he has the plan to build the wall on the southern southern border here. I think that he uh, should really hammer down on his policy to take all the weed addicts in places like Oregon and Washington and D.C., of course, Colorado, and deport them to Colorado and then build a wall right on the border here with Colorado. And I think that's what he'll do. Um, he'll take the rest of the country, no questions asked, and Colorado will just be this hell hole of drug addiction and, you know, child abuse and, you know, all the things come with, you know, marijuana use like pedophilia and shit. So that's about it. I mean, he's not gonna take it, unfortunately, the polls, are sometimes close, but at, at the end of the day, those dirty motherfuckers are not going to be voting for Trump. So it's unfortunate. However, with that being said, it's obvious that Trump is going to demolish Clinton. If you look at any state here in red, even the ones that are close to being blue, you know, you go to anyone's yard, they have at least five Trump signs. And everyone knows that elections are not decided by polls or numbers. They're decided by how many Trump signs you see or how many signs of any candidate you see in their yards. And you go to any state, you don't see any Clinton signs at all. You see like five or six Trump signs per yard. So it's obvious. Um, also, another good way of determining if a candidate's going to win is if you look at the live feeds of their speeches, their rallies, Trump supporters yell much louder than Clinton supporters, that's, I mean, if you don't yell, you don't vote. So he's gonna win in that respect as well. And I think the last summer that I looked at, he's averaging at least 2.1 billion people per rally every time that he has a rally, which if you did not know this, he rallies at least six times a day in multiple states. So think of that, 2.3 I said, times six, that's over like 40 billion people a day that Trump gets to his rallies. And Clinton, I think her last one got like seven and a half because one, one of the guys was black and they're not really humans. So what else can I say? Trump gets billions and billions of people at his rallies. There are Trump signs everywhere. And with the things that are going to be happening in the next few weeks, the hurricane, the Bernie Sanders uprising, um, the, the Christie Bridgegate number two, you know, there's no doubt Trump's going to win 529 Clinton to Clinton's nine. So that's my prediction. I'm John Kasich. Thank you for your time. Go out and vote and uh, have a great day.